How you guys doing today? It's Brother Kwame, and I'm coming at you guys with another topic, and I will be revealing how the homosexual spirit comes from Satan. That's right. The spirit of the homosexuality comes from the pits of hell. Yes, the spirit of the homosexuality comes from Satan himself. Satan himself was a homosexual. And a lot of people be wondering what be going on in this world. All these people be trying to figure out why all these people, you know, turning gay. But if you go to the book of Daniel chapter 8, verse 11 and 12, that lets you know right there that Satan, he's basically running this world right now for a little bit. So that should let you know that the homosexual spirit comes from Satan himself. And that's why, you know, most of my videos, you know, I be telling y'all, y'all need to separate yourselves, you know, from the, the worldly system, from the worldly government, because remember, they they approve for, you know, homosexuals to can get married. They approve for the homosexuals to get married. So that should let y'all know something. You got to look at it from a spiritual eye point of view. Open up your spiritual eyes. You know what I'm saying? And I got it all right here in scripture that Satan was a homosexual from day one. And these people walking around here proclaiming to be gay, what they really doing, they putting on the spirit of the enemy. You know, I can't explain it no better. Gay folks, homosexuals, call it whatever you want. That comes from the spirit of Satan. And he has many, he has many different spirits. That's right. He has many different spirits to deceive the world. And a lot of you worldly folks just don't get it. A lot of you worldly folks just won't wake up. And I'm here to tell you, it's going to be too late for some of you folks because y'all still can't read in between the lines. The homosexual spirit comes from Satan himself. And I'm going to get into this with scripture. I want you guys to go with me to Daniel's. Go with me to Daniel's chapter 11. Verse 36 through 37. And it says, it says, and the king shall do according to his will. And he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished for that. That is determined shall be done. This Satan they talking about in verse 36. This is revealing that this is Satan. Now we know we talking about Satan in verse 36. And we going to go through this again. I'm going to read that verse again so y'all can get a, a clear understanding. I want y'all to go with me to that verse again. And it says, and the king shall do according to his will. And he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished for that that is determined shall be done. You see that? This is just to identify that we're talking about Satan himself. It said, and the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods. It's talking about the God of hosts, the Lord God almighty, the most high God almighty. It said that he will speak marvelous things against 
the God of gods. When it says he will speak marvelous things, it means blasphemy things. That means lies against the Lord God. That's what that means. When he said, it says, and magnify himself above every God, above every God. That means he want to be above every God and shall speak marvelous things. That means he wants to speak. He will speak blasphemous things against the most high God. And it says against the God of God. So that lets you know that it's talking about the God of hosts, the almighty God. And we all know that Satan wanted to always be like the most high God. He always wanted to overtake his throne. He wanted to be just like him. But he does things backwards. He does the opposite of the, of the Lord God. And we already know the Lord God is against homosexual. And it also said in that verse, in verse 36, it said, And shall prosper till the ignition be accomplished for that that is determined shall be done. And we already know the Lord God what he determined for the for the Satan to be in hell. That's right. The Lord God already determined what he's going to do to him. And that's hell. He's going to sit on the hill. He going to go there and he going to burn forever. Okay, so we just basically was getting the character that we was talking about Satan. Now, we're going to go to the next verse in verse 37. And it says, Neither shall be regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. Now, in that package, in Daniel's chapter 11, verse 37 it's just it just revealed that Satan had no he has no interest in women. It said, neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women. You know, that's powerful in Daniel's chapter 11, verse 37. It's basically letting you know that Satan has no interest in women. So what does he has interest in? If Satan doesn't have interest in women, what does he has interest in? You know, that's basically revealing something right there. That's basically giving out some type of revelation towards the enemy. You know, the Lord just said that he had no type of interest in women. He had no desires towards women. So what is that saying that he doesn't have no desires towards women? What is that saying? He has to be some type of homosexual or something if he ain't got no desire towards women. So the enemy, he got to be a homosexual himself. That's right. Satan has to be a homosexual because Satan is a guy. And I want y'all to look at this with an open eye. Satan is a guy. And the Lord God made man to be with women. You have to think about this. If he doesn't have what we just revealed in verse 37 in Daniel chapter 30. No, in Daniel chapter 11, verse 37. If he doesn't have no desires towards women, he has to be a homosexual. It said that he doesn't have no desire for women. And God made man to be with women. Man was made to have desires for women. All men was made to have desires towards women and women, all women was made to have desires towards men. The Lord God said that he said that all men should have their own wives and all wives should have their own husband. That lets you know that a man and a woman was made for each other. And it says right here in Daniel's chapter 11, verse 37, that Satan has no desire towards women. So that's letting you know that Satan was a homosexual. Wake up, people. Look at this with an open eye. And so this basically revealing where a homosexual spirit comes from. And the thing about it, folks is in the world being a homosexual and not knowing that this comes from Satan himself. 
So when they do this, they put on an image for the devil. When they do this, they put on the image of the devil. Homosexual ain't the spirit of the Lord God. So y'all putting on the image of Satan, not the Lord God. He just the Lord God destroyed 27,000 people in Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's be real about this, people. Let's be real about this. The Lord God that I serve destroyed over 20,000 people in Sodom and Gomorrah about this. Look at this with an open eye, people. Look at this with an open eye. Now, go with me to the book of Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Because the Lord God is against homosexuality. And homosexuality, we all know now that it comes from Satan himself. And we know that God is against this. And we know that the enemy is going to do everything backwards. He's going to do the opposite, the totally opposite of the Lord God. Now go with me to the book of Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. And it says. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. The Lord God saying that man and man shouldn't lay together. And women and women shouldn't lay together. He said that. Is it an abomination? Which means that he, he is disgusted of this stuff. The Lord God that I serve, he ain't having that. That homosexuality spirit comes from Satan himself. And do not insult the Lord God that I serve intelligence. Folks talking about the Lord God love me for who I am. I was born a homosexual. You weren't born no homosexual. That was a choice that you made. Because the Lord God that I serve, he said in Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination to him. So he letting you know that that's not ordained by him. That's not ordained by the Lord God. Whenever the Lord God says an abomination about something, that means he is against that. He is disgusted. Man, you folks better wake up, man, because that homosexual spirit comes from Satan himself. Read Daniel's chapter 11, verse 37. You're going to find out that that spirit comes from Satan himself. That homosexual spirit comes from Satan himself. And in verse 36 in Daniel chapter 11, it, it, it describes the character, which is Satan. It describes Satan. So we all know that the homosexual spirit comes from Satan himself. It said that he had no desire towards women. So if you have no desire towards women, which is the opp opposite sex of either side, that means you are homosexual. Come on now, let's be real. Come on now, if you ain't got no desire for no woman and you are, if, and if you a man, you a homosexual. Let's be real about it. Now, I want you guys to go with me to the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 26. And we must remember, whatever the Lord God does, the enemy tries to go and do it backwards. We must remember that. Now. We in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 26 through 28. And it says, For this cause God gave them up unto vile infections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. I'm going to read that again so y'all can understand that. For this cause God gave them up unto vile infections, for even their women did change their natural use into, un, into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet and 
even as they did not like to return God and their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not covenant. You see that? Anytime the Lord God give you over to a reprobate mind, that means you're doing something wrong. And we talking about in the case right now, we talking about homosexuality. And the Lord God is against that. He's saying that them people wanted to do that stuff so bad, he left them over to a rope of bait mind. And that lets you know that he left them to do that stuff because it's going to lead them out to their death. That's right. He left them over to do that stuff because it's going to basically lead them out to their death eventually. It's going to eventually lead them out to their death. That is not a God. That homosexual spirit comes from the pits of hell. It comes from Satan himself. Satan said he don't have no desire or interest in women. And that's in Daniel's chapter 11, verse 37. He said he don't have no interest in women. He had no desires for women. Man, this is a powerful message revealing that the homosexual spirit comes from Satan himself. It's your boy, Brother Kwame. And I'm out.